I just sat down to go inside and just see if there was anything that wanted to be spoken today. That's usually how it goes. Either it's just there or I just tune in. And if there's nothing, then there won't be a video. And if there is something, then I will just let it come out. So when I sat down, closed my eyes and just tuning in, then the first thing that came was your intention is enough. And I was like, oh, that's so cool. Because there are times where, you know, I just can't get into the flow. There's just energies or tiredness or physical things or other things that are just kind of pressing in. But I can always find the intention. So it was really a lovely message to just hear your intention is enough. So what that means to me is that when I sit down and maybe, you know, the whole world is swirling around inside of me and I cannot find that place of peace, of flow, of longing, then that's okay. <laughs> and there's this, the intention, if, if you tune into your intention of whatever you want, you'll notice you go inside, right? You go like, okay, what is my intention? What, what is it? What is here that I want to experience here? If we can put it that way. So we go in. Well, where do we go? Where do you go when you're going to look for what your intention is, what you really want, what is important? We go inside for some kind of information. <clears throat> and if we are able to tune in enough or get still enough or present enough, we will feel that there is something that is important to us, right? And so let's say, what shall I say? Um, I want to be more present in my life but I'm not. But your intention is, I want to be more present because of course I'm not present, right? We, we usually want something because it's not there. So there is a sincere longing. I have to use that word because that's so important, which is kind of similar to intention, maybe a different flavor, but it is, what do you really want? What is your intention? So you go in and you go, oh, I want to be more present. Now your intention is on your intention, right? You go in to find it. Your intention is to be more present. And then you stay with that intention. Even though the world may do all kinds of things and you are not able to be present even for a split second, if you can come back, to this like, no, I want to be present. That's enough. Isn't that great? That is enough because that is all you can do in that moment. We, we always think we need to be more or better or bigger or something other than we are. And then if we're not, we make ourselves wrong. We become very unloving and unkind to ourselves. But just the intention to be, let's say, bigger and better and more loving, more present, just that intention, you do tap into something deeper inside. And that is where it's going to come from. And that intention has the power to cut through this stuff, let's call it the matrix, the veil, the illusion, because really when we're setting an intention and we want something, it's always, we always want what we truly are. And that is already present, that is presence, that is love, that is peace. We already are that. But because we're so distracted by the illusion, by the matrix, we lose touch with that. We lose touch with who we truly are. 
And that, of course, is what we long for. And that's why we can set the intention. The intention has an energy or is an energy. And it's very powerful. But we have to use it. We have to make ourselves available for it. It's like, you know, you can say a sword is very powerful. But if it's just lying on the table covered in, with something, it's not very powerful. But when we pick it up, and then put our intention behind what we want to cut through. I want to cut through this feeling that I'm not present. I want to cut through this feeling that I'm doing it wrong. I want to rest in my own presence and know that I already am what I'm yearning for. Or whatever it is for you. It might be very different than what I'm saying here. So our intention is enough and that's all we can do. It has a power in it. It has an energy that starts feeding what it is that we are intending. Every time we stay with the intention, and I would say it is very similar to the longing. It's a feeling that we have inside. So maybe intention is a little stronger, it feels like. It's like I'm intending to be present with my longing. We can also say I'm intending to be present with what I'm intending, right? But there is a power in that. And it's the power that has the energy that will get us there. Because what we are wanting, what we are intending, is right here, already, right now. And it's just we need to bring our attention, our intention to that. And what we're bringing to it is our presence, is our divine presence. And everything comes from there. You know, it's interesting when I speak about it, I often learn from what is coming out of my mouth. It's not that this is a new concept to me, but it just feels like as I'm speaking it, I feel it's kind of being sharpened or the clarity is stronger. So, and that is because my intention is to speak from an S presence. I'm not interested in speaking from Pernilla. I mean, she really doesn't know much. It's just coming along for the ride. But when I tune into presence to what truly matters here, that I'm giving life to something that wants to come in, that wants to express itself. So, your intention is enough. My intention is enough. But there's one part I think that I want to just add to it. We have to feel it. It has to be the felt sense of the intention. Because we need to get out of the mind. That's where all the matrix and illusion is happening. We get, need to get to a place inside that is outside of that um, state of consciousness, that matrix, that illusion, that veil. And that is a felt sense of an energy. So if you have something you really want, something you long for, then you can set the intention that like, I want this. This is important to me. And even as you say that, you might notice that there is an energy like, I want that. You're like That energy that says, <laughs> that is what you need. If you say it from here, yeah, I want that. There's no energy behind it. But you need to get that. Then there is energy behind it. And then we need to come back and come back and come back. It's almost like we need to um, help our intention grow because if our intention is only 30%, it may not be enough. It probably isn't enough to actually get you there. So that's why cultivating intention of what we really want, what truly, truly matters to us, that's when we give energy for it. It's like you open a portal for the energy to start 
expressing itself in whatever form it wants to, that you and I are feeling as a, yeah, I want this, but it's not here. It's a very felt sense experience. So your intention is enough.